Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. We've got a Helios 2 uh, over here, we've got Helios 4 on its way across to join so that our rapid response team is uh, fully formed again. Uh, the Tiamat is on its way exploring up this way and uh, the Manticore is of course uh, checking out this place. So we're just going to resume where we were and see what we get. Ooh! Another Phoenix base. I was not expecting that. That's really close to the other one. Alright, what have we got here? Fabrication plant, medical facility, well... Yeah, let's get that going because that's only going to be 50-ish. That's going to be a little bit more. Uh, we've got a store. We've got an energy generator. I kind of feel like we should have... living quarters but that's going to take all of our resources that that's kind of why we've not been doing that up until now um i suppose we could we could do some trading potentially and get the materials we need to, all right medical bay is finished at phoenix r d9 that's uh that's this one here so it can actually be properly used as a staging area you're going to explore here, you're going to explore here. And of course we're we're waiting to find out uh, when we can actually make it all the way to the south. So our operatives are set down on a bridge in the middle of nowhere. It looks like a group of people have tried to start up a haven here, building out from underneath the bridge. But the construction has been left unfinished. Either those people were killed, or they decided to move on. Yeah, let's search it. Some materials, some food. There's not much left. But something is better than nothing. That's so often the case. Uh, let's go down as far south as we can. Not a barnacle exploration site. Clinging to the ruins of an old library, our operatives have discovered a half-mad creature that resembles barnacle with a human face. The creature, apparently the former head librarian, is still human enough to give them directions to its hidden treasure. They're rambling and confusing, but somehow quite interesting. Uh, yeah, this creature is an oracle. Ask the disciples to set down its wisdom. River run past Eve and Adams from swerve of shore to bend of bay. Brings us by a Commodius. A vicus of recirculation back to house castle and environs. Begins the prophecy. Which is to become the sacred book of the barnacle. One of the most mysterious texts circulated among the disciples of Anu. Jeez, they'll write a book on anything, won't they? I love it. Uh, right, let's um, push on. We, uh, In terms of uh, trading, if we were to go here, we could trade food for, for tech, which is good, but it's not actually that useful for us in the grand scheme of things. So I'd rather find somewhere else. Yeah, the team has been reunited. That's brilliant. We're going to leave them where they are, of course. Research complete. The Scylla vivisection is complete. No doubt the Scylla is the apex Pandoran mutant and serves as a command hub for the largest Pandoran colonies. Its extraordinary intelligence allows it to understand human languages. From the specimen we've managed to interrogate, we understand that it receives commands from some higher entity via some multiple wave frequencies. But we could not understand the origin of these commands as explained by the Scylla. Vivisection has revealed a highly developed sensory nodule near the brainstem, which we believe is the receptor for these signals. Other information the creature has provided will allow us to discern the purpose and function of the largest Pandoran colonies and give some clearer idea what the Pandorans are trying to build. Okay, so uh, just as a reminder, we do have this active structure here. Now that these two are reunited. Uh, I'm going to send them in to take care of it. While that's going on, I want to check the research and see if there's anything new we can do. No, there isn't. So we're going to carry on with psychic influences. A luxurious apocalypse. Our operatives have discovered what can only be described as a luxury shelter. An underground facility so extravagant, it begs belief. It has multiple swimming pools, a gym, a sauna, a cinema, even a dedicated VR room. The only thing it doesn't have is its people. Um, I 
We're going to install this in our facilities. I mean, I love Anu, but we're just totally keeping it. Entertainment is rare in this dark and miserable world, but nothing could be more necessary. Faced with the relentless horror of the Pandora virus, our operatives often struggle to maintain their sanity and having access to films and games helps them forget about what they've seen. If only for a little while. So we don't actually get any benefit from that, but uh, we also don't upset the uh, delicate diplomatic balance. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how to describe that. Uh, let's move you guys down this way. So we know that we've got this Pandoran lair. Uh, let's hop on in and uh, take it out. I might need to do this mission in two parts because I have some food on the go at the moment. But uh, we'll... Uh, oh, no, we're not going in without the others yet. There we go. Much better. Uh, right, in terms of equipment, you need to reload... Oh yeah, because we've got the um, the gun you're not proficient in. That's fine. I'd, I'd like to have it out anyway ready. We can always do some swatching and swapping if we need. Uh, but we might get some captures out of this. Uh, likewise, let's reload that. Everyone is going to be as beefed up as they can be going in. Uh, you also need to make sure you're fully loaded. Uh, we've got spare ammo for... Which one is this? That's for the Pythagoras. I'd like to take some spare ammo out for the Neural Sniper. We can probably salvage up a bunch of this armor because we're not going to be using it anymore. These are ones that we uh, ended up with spare after um, people started mutating. So this is actually sorting out all of those resource problems. I should have done this earlier. Uh, in that case, before we actually go in... Uh, don't care about this one. Which was the one that we just got? It was Phoenix Aeronautics there. That was it. Uh, we'll get living quarters going. How much would a training facility be? I don't know if we really want one, but just out of curiosity. Another 250. Yeah, it's not, not worth it. Okay, so I think the team is pretty well geared. We've got a couple of slightly less experienced people, but overall, everyone is good. Now, as always, we want to try and make a beeline to the actual hatchery itself. Pretty certain we can't capture it, um, so we'll just destroy it. Now, our primary goal is going to be to destroy the hatchery. So the first thing I want to do is find out whereabouts it is. Over there. It's over in this corner. Okay. Uh, so we can probably see it from up here, actually. In fact, that's going to be brilliant if we can manage that. Uh, we've obviously got this siren that we need to take care of. So I think we'll... We can charge in. Take out his head. Move someone else up. Mind control him. And then paralyze him. That could work. Uh, I think we can ignore this guy over here. Yeah, that, that seems like our best plan. Where can you move to? You can get to here. And then you can probably walk in the rest of the way. Uh, it's going to do the... You're spotting a ton of people. Right, before we do that, then I want to get someone else with some semblance of scouting ability to move in and scout what they can. I think we're going to take this out as well. Let's 
jump you over to here. Jump you in as well. To about the same point. I don't mind if this attacks once. Uh, we'll be able to take care of it other than that. I suppose we could double rocket it, couldn't we? Okay, that might be enough for us to... No, still more for us to see. Ah, we can't go... Can't go quite where I wanted anymore. Okay, well, we'll just move in as much as we can. So we are looking to take out your head. Head gone. So that means anyone else who moves in will be able to mind control. So now we're going to bring you all the way down here and we'll get Blaine to rage burst you. And, and that'll be that. We are a little bit exposed on that side, but I think that's going to be fine. So over here. Rage burst. And this is just for the stunning. Uh, let's go for the tail. It's the least likely bit to move. So this thing is nicely paralyzed, we can release it. And not only that, this is not going to be unparalyzed anytime soon. Uh, Blaine, you may as well move up this way. So how are we going to do you is the next question. Double dash and then in face. We're the Harrower. We're gonna be visible on that side, but I think that's that's an acceptable thing to take. We could also go for the also and start it really bleeding. Okay, who else can we move in? Ah, uh, yeah, maximum movement. Right, dash. Uh, come up to here. Change over to the Harrower. Dash, look at this. Get right on in. Come in this side, actually. I don't want you guys being too close together for the old... I wonder if we can get both legs knocked out at the same time. Probably not. I'm not going to be able to do the abdomen. We got one of them. That's all right. By five. You're almost certainly not going to be able to see it, so you're you're pretty much useless, actually. Uh, I mean, you do have Double time. paralyzing ability, but you're not in a you're not going to be in a good place to do it. Let's think ahead. If we want to shoot this, we're probably going to need to be up here, which means taking out that barrier. Can't hit it this turn, so maybe focusing on these guys instead. <gasps> I am liking the way that's looking. Uh, let's, uh, let's do another one of those. Yeah, like that would be perfect. Ah, 
Uh, that's kind of what I was worried about. All right. That's pretty good for, for a first turn, I'd say. So we've got three poison worms over here, which we can potentially paralyze. These guys are very much alive. And in grenade range. Wow, that actually took his head out. That's kind of painful. Ooh, that was close. Let's not have another one of those. I said let's not have another one of those. Okay, he's a missed guy. This is going to be another grenade coming in. There goes our gun. We're still alive. Jeez. Right. Let's solve this now. This was way too risky. Um, actually, that's an interesting idea. Mind crush. Killed one, hurt one, nearly killed this guy. Uh, now get back behind cover. Over here. Uh, let's, let's let you guys carry on where you're going. So you're jet jumping all the way over here. Perfect. And this is me blitzing it to this. He's going to die, so we don't care about him. This guy we do care about. But we've got enough assaults that it's probably not going to be an issue. Yeah. Hmm. Let's get you to jump up as well. You might have a slightly better job of seeing. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay, so with that... Can't see it with any of the various things, but... We can still start popping this this kind of thing open. I hope this works. We could also just try and get a missile straight in, but I think I'd rather clear the path as much as possible. That looks pretty good, actually. It looks like it's done what we need it to. Um, over here. He's going to bleed out because he's not regening. This guy is a concern. This guy is going to die. Okay. I'm looking at where our potential liabilities are. You're gone. He is going to bleed out, but we could just put him down now. It'll give us a bit of extra willpower. Uh, this guy, I think, will charge in and just eliminate him. Ooh, how much willpower have you got? Nine. Yeah, so mind control is not going to be a thing. Obliterating his leg is definitely going to be a thing. What weapon have you got? Yeah, oh, you've got a sniper rifle, so yeah, we need to be in cover. And 
actually. Let's um, let's dash you round here. You can start coming to help with this big boy. So, over here. Poison worm fun. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. Can't actually see the other one from where we are, but let's um, let's walk away so we know we're out of its range. Maybe we should shoot one of these a bit more. That's fine. I've got no willpower anyway, so we could mind control them, or we could mind crush them. Uh, right, you. How are we going to get to you? We've got 18 willpower. We might be able to double dash right up next to him, actually. We've got a harrower. Let's give it a go. Got to remember that there's a guy just over the other side of this. Ooh, that's really close. Hello! So happy to meet you. Uh, where are we going to shoot him? If we could get it, like, all in the leg. That would be amazing. So you've got the sniper rifle, and you've got an agile leg. Which can kick. Okay. That's what I wanted to check. Like, can he do anything with that? Let's, uh, let's focus there. So we've definitely killed one arm. He's moved a short distance. Don't think we're going to be able to disable him. He'll take a shot at us. We'll get pretty nastily hurt and we'll return fire and kill him. Sailor V. So, uh, yeah, it's just a question of, I wonder if that's, that's probably an egg. I hope it's an egg. Apparently we can we can see with this, which is awesome. If we if we can get the chunky gun out, um, I will I will put this on here just to make sure we've got as clear a path as possible. Someone bled out. This thing's coming a bit closer. I mean, we're really playing hard and fast here at the moment. Ooh, he's actually run further away than I expected. Like, proper retreat. Okay. Uh-oh. That might be why. Okay, so from up here... We might be better off doing Boom Blast and getting all kinds of other fun in there. Uh, this guy is going to be a concern. We could dash to here, walk in and finish him. Hello. I'm here to talk about your love of my shotgun. That did not kill him. 288 damage. Ow. Well, he's going to bleed out. We're bleeding now. But we did at least... I don't know, jeez. That, that was very unexpected and very painful. 
Okay, Boom Blast will give us two grenades. What's the Shred Like on grenades? Four. What's the Shred Like on this? Not as much. The Hell Cannon's got a reasonable shred. I wonder how accurate is Rage Burst going to be? Oh, that looks accurate enough to me. I say it looks accurate enough to me. We could step closer just to make sure. Like, to absolutely secure that. I know, Amos, it's really exciting, isn't it? Maybe if we go up here and we're shooting down into it. We've still got enough willpower to do it. Just not this turn, of course. And I think that is going to be a much better shot. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a much better shot. In the meantime, we could try and finish this guy off. Except we'll take return fire if we don't kill him. So that's not actually a good plan. Let's not do that. Okay, so over here instead... We'll start the process off at least. Uh, step a teeny bit closer. Probably should have done that beforehand, but it's such a tiny difference. I really don't see it doing much. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can keep these guys paralyzed. Pistol. May as well get two on this one, seeing as it's right here. Apparently you're the next closest. There we go. I think let's have a look over this side now for the problematic guys. So what have we got here? We've, you can get mind controlled. That's what we've got. We have a guy who can get mind controlled. You can also get mind controlled. So let's step to here, start this off, you can step to here and we'll see if we can figure out what's going on around this corner, hello, that's what's going on, poison, And while we're at it, how much? You've got five. So we could we could mind control this one as well, but I think yeah, he's out of range. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. So get in a bit closer. Can we not get him? There is no valid target. Why? Does he have a mutation? No, doesn't look like it. Well, in that case... Let's just massively injure him. Still got this guy down there, which is a problem. You're still, like, out of everything worthwhile. We do have another gun, of course. Um, it's good to bring backups. I mean, I've been having extra guns for a very long time, and this is the first time that I think we're actually going to get to potentially use one in a valid situation. 
but I'm still very glad about that. Uh, that's really not the kind of shot that we're going to hit, but give it a go. Eight damage. Yeah, through the mist, just not going to happen. Waste of ammo. I'm going to bring you all the way across here. Or do I send you in to help out with this? You're just a regular assault, but you do have a harrower. Let's bring you all the way up here. Because we're going to want to take it out quickly when when we get to that point. I'm here. So that means you're running forwards as much as you can. Really not doing a great deal. If there'd been something big near us at the start, then we'd, of course, have a little bit more to do, but it is what it is. Very cool with his gun dropping off the edge there. Okay, you could be a problem in the future. You're going to hop up? No, can't hop up this turn. Pistol shots from off screen. This is a sniper shot coming in. Yeah, that's very painful. Oh, not you as well. Ooh. Yeah, we kind of need to step up our murder plan. Over here. Much better. Um, I think actually, just so we don't have to worry about this. Oh, it's not going to do enough. That in itself is annoying. When did a mind fragger egg become so powerful? Okay, rage burst on you. Missed one. Okay, this thing will probably die this turn. So we can look at... Um, potential captures. You're a no, because you're about to die. You're a no, because actually you're not necessarily a no. Not necessarily, not guaranteed. What the hell? What did we hit? <laughs> that shooting is dodgy as all hell. I think maybe we should just finish this off. We'll see if we can get any, any further captures. Um, potentially one of these. Uh, we could also... So we could rage burst this guy, but it's not going to be enough. Unless we could also hit him from over here. Which we can't quite do. One more space and we'd be able to do that. I've moved too far. Ah, oh, we can quick aim though. So let's try that quick aim. We need to move even further. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're going to need to move one space further. Taking aim. So a rage burst on this should paralyze it. So 
Center mass, please. Good. Uh, now I think is a good time to finish this big ass thing off. So up here. And we're going to have to get you to do a little bit of dashing. Which route does it want to go? It wants to go that way. It's always good to check that first. So dash around to here. Alley up. Dash right up next to it. That is, that is a very weird way of moving. And yeah, we've definitely got that in the bag, so what else might we want to do? Nothing down there. We could potentially stun this. So all these are stunned. I call that a pretty, uh, pretty good show. Yeah, we played that a little bit too fast and loose. I'm getting a bit too confident with our people's abilities and we're getting injured because of it. That being said, the general tactic of go straight for the spawnery and then pick other stuff up around is a very good tactic. It definitely works. So we got uh, a siren, uh, we got three poison mobs. We didn't get the um, uh, triple embodied thing, but I don't think you can capture them. So small waste of resources. We lost a harrower, that's painful. Really painful. Okay, we'll send the teams back. Over here, we'll start exploring, and uh, in research, we can get the poison worm vivisection going. In fact, in the personnel in the containment, we've still got our Scylla. I, I am tempted to keep one of each type. Just, you know, build up a collection. So we're going to need a Chiron, we're going to need uh, an Arthur, and we're going to need a Triton. But we've got some uh, some more bits for people to mutate with. So with the Tiamat, can we actually make, we can make it here? We should go straight for that. The guys are a little bit tired, a little bit injured, but this is definitely the right move to make. Unfortunately, that's all going to be next time because we are out of time for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.